Hey guys, Ron here. Today I'm going to make some more Project Zomboid, and I am actually going to make the fortification. Might have to go out and get a few more nails because I only have 291. But first part would actually be building the foundation. Okay, then let's start by making the first wooden pillar. And now the, and let's hope for good luck to come. Then I'll go one open between I'm making it like this basically so that I know that they will have more than enough support because to be honest I don't know if I even need to have this much I could have two space between probably but this is just for safety also if zombies actually manage to get in and start breaking them I will actually be able to no, it will actually be able to hold itself up a lot more than if I have like a lot more <laughs> between basically uh, okay it's gonna be a little bit of fun without hair but eh. uh, now just to continue making pillars so many pillars and yes and now the last pillar right there there we go as you can see now I have pillars all over underneath here. I said I probably don't need that many but just to be sure. Better safe than sorry as you know. And of course the way I'm going to start building up there is by making some stairs. It doesn't matter what kind. Which I'll go with the standard. Let's see if it goes R. Yes it is. I can't place it. Let's see there but right there yes I need to get myself a sledgehammer though so I can actually get rid of it again afterwards as you can see I now have floor hmm that floor looks like crap I'm going to have to uh, tear down that floor and place a new one as it now I'm now we are actually starting to get uh, get somewhere oh wow, I'm using up my wood so quickly yeah, that now is just to set flooring all over this. And after I'm done with the flooring, I'm going to put a couple of windows down so I can actually start making um, like um, an entrance way, a proper entrance way. This is not how it's going to stay because zombies can walk up that. The way it's going to stay is rope. So I can just have to pull myself up. That way, zombies won't actually be able to get to me. And yeah, that's it. A zombie proof fort is much better than a fort that just slows down zombies, so yeah. Alright, the rope is now done. Oops, <laughs> there we go. Now I can actually just climb up. This is, of course, for when I actually remove this stair. But I actually need to find myself some, a sledgehammer. I might be able to find one randomly, or <laughs> I will have to go into one of the warehouses and try to find one. Yeah, sledgehammer is definitely the next thing I really need, so yeah. Now I'm just going to finish up all the flooring, and yeah, pretty much. Alright, now starts the quest for the sledgehammer. So I can actually remove some of my misplaced <laughs> things. I misplaced the floor, and I need to just remove the stairs. The hell, zombie. The hell. GTFO. Yeah, that's it. Now is the time for quest of the sledgehammer. Yes, the first place I actually went looking for it. Here it is. The sledgehammer. I went into the house that was pretty much right down the street from mine. And it's a little bit of a warehouse and there's tons of stuff. Including two boxes of nails. So I should actually be able to finish the floor. Pretty much without going out again, I think. So, awesome! Now I just need to get back and we'll actually continue building the house. Alright, now I'm finally back with the sledgehammer. As you see, I managed to build a little bit wrongly over here. And yeah, I did take a little bit of time in the off recording, just taking up all of the stuff. Okay, there, let's destroy this floor. Um, you see, if I put it right there, the... Um, the rope isn't going to be at the wall, it's going to be one block further than the wall. 
So I kind of don't want that because I want to have it say I like climb up the fence basically. It it will look prettier, and that is yeah like half of the things you need to worry about here. It uh, looks. Who cares about function? This is all about looks. Nah, it is not. But it's, it works pretty well. I've used this design before in another house I made. But now let's get rid of this ugly eyesore of a stair. <laughs> Seriously though, let's just destroy a fixture. And bam! Now it's zombie proof. The only way to get up is to climb. It's going straight up here. Now I'm up again. This is like the only way to actually get up and down. I will be coming back in when the floor is done and we'll start making the walls. Holy cow, I just found out something incredible. I have no planks on me and I can start making fish yet because there's planks on the ground. And that means that my character actually picks up the planks on the ground when she starts to build something. There was like 24 planks there earlier. <laughs> That's actually a kind of neat thing, and I just wanted to bring it up to you guys so everyone knows. <laughs> but really though, that's actually a very, very thoughtful design thing actually. Seeing as, it's, like, it's logical, it's on the ground, so why not just pick up and use it, but... I wouldn't actually have thought that they would have thought to actually put it in there. Wow! I'm giving you a clap, uh, Mr... Um, or the p design team behind Project Sunboid. That's very well thought, of, uh, thought out, to be honest. Okay, the floor is now done. Now it's now it's only time to make some walls and a door. And yeah, you can still use it like this. My plan is to have my door here. Have another fence here, so I can have a little bit of a uh, porch. I think it's a I think it's a porch. It's called. Um, English. I have no idea to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want a porch right here. I'm gonna have a little bit of a rain collector and it's mostly just for looks anyways. And with that I'm just going to yeah, have a little porch and on said porch I'm going to make rain collector maybe a couple more things after a little while, you know. And now I'm just going to make a wall around this entire place so I can actually start storing things up here. And also adding a couple of window spots and yeah. Alright, all walls done. I just have set down a little crate here. There we go. Now I can actually start having a building materials for first of all in here. My next plan is going to be making the flooring over the entire place. Uh, my first story, or technically second story, is going to be for storage, for the most part. My second, technically third story, is going to be for ba looks, basically. A bedroom, maybe a kitchen, a bar, you know. So, yeah, let's make a bar in the post cup to lift deck. Everyone needs a, cup, a drink every now and again. Except me, of course, because I don't drink. <laughs> there we are. We're now completely done with the roofing here. I'm just gonna make one more little room. And we will call it done. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make my bedroom up here. I'm gonna expand it later. So it's like the entire place. But, but let's see. Furniture. You're supposed to make a bed. Six planks. Yeah, I'm gonna make a bed. Before, before I end this. <laughs> I have now made a bed that I can sleep in. Well, as I said, this is going to be my bedroom. I'm going to make it one or two more further out. And yeah, it's actually kind of nice to actually be able to have you know, beds instead of just sleeping in chairs, to be honest. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's so nice to have the house done. Now it's just a lot of furnishing to, uh, to be done and then it will be actually done. And they have tons of nails so it shouldn't be a problem really. Well I'm gonna call it an end there so thank you all for watching. I hope to, I hope to see you again.